Hi everyone and welcome to the brute video as I promised in my last shave video. Um, as most probably most of you will know, brute is a classic, is an old classic like Old Spice if you like and it's from many years ago. Um, the original brute had a certain scent uh, strength which uh, a lot of the modern day, because Brute is still available, um, easily available in the shops today. Well, it is in Britain anyway. And I've got a few in front of me here, which I'm going to show you. And the two that are available today come in this plastic bottle in the supermarket. Splash on lotion. That's one. And the second one being this one in the glass bottle. Now, I bought one, um, when was it, a few weeks, or well, months ago now, which is a gold medallion, and made in Paris, but this, get the top off, is an eau de toilette spray. Now, I'm fortunate enough to have in my possession at this very moment a bottle of the original Brute Fabergé and uh, if you look at the label there Fabergé with a silver medallion this is the real thing it's the real deal now, when I take this top off, and this is on loan to me from a friend of mine, Alistair, and this was his grandfather's, and he still kept it all these years. Um, his grandfather's passed away now, sadly, but um, this was his, and it's still got some in it, as you can see there. And if I unscrew this, I wish, I really do wish <laughs> he had... A smell of vision that um, oh it's just unbelievable the genuine scent the real oh absolutely amazing huge difference to the shop bought today now I did a little test while I had this and I took a dab of this and I put it on this arm just like that and I took a dab of this or a spray and I put it on this arm now out of these that's the original we'll put that one side out of these here and this believe it or not this one smelt the nearest to the original from the bottle just smelling it however after wearing it and after an hour the original brute had sort of faded the scent when I first put it on I smelt it and I smelt the scent from this one as I first put it on and they smelt this was the most realistic to the original, in my, to my nose, right? And this is the eau de toilette, brute eau de toilette, which is stronger anyway. After about an hour, the original had slightly faded, the scent had faded, but this one, and you know, don't forget, this is 45, 50 years old, 45 probably around there, years old at Cologne, or aftershave. So that'll have a bit of a, an, a reason for it um, disappearing quicker. But this is widely available today. It's bought, well, I don't know if it's widely available, but uh, I presume so. Eau de Toilette Brute, made in Paris. And um, it stayed, it was still strong after an hour, and that is the one that resembles the original in my, to my nose. Absolutely amazing. Um, 
if it's not made with the original uh, ingredients, if you like, I think that's the closest I've ever smelled in my life. Now this smells obviously of brut. When you smell it, you'll say, yeah, brut. But it's, you can tell, when you've got the original next to you, you can tell that's much weaker. The scent is there, but there's something about it that's missing and it's weaker. But it's still got the scent, as does this one. This one smells more like the original um, for some reason. It could be the same as this, but this is in a glass bottle. And to my nose, this smells more like the original from the bottle. But when you put it on and wear it, that is the closest to the original. And the reason that's gold is because this is, the, as I said, the spray and it's the eau de toilette. So it's stronger. The eau de toilette is stronger anyway. Um, so I thought that might interest a few people. Uh, and I mean, it was worth making the video just to show people the original Fabergé. That is the original Brute. And as I say, it was on loan to me by Alistair. And this was his grandfather's. And it's still got some in it. And the scent is out of this world. Oh, and it brings so many memories back. <laughs> the original Brute. So, um, I'm glad I could do this video. I'm lucky enough. Uh, thanks, Alistair, if you're watching. I'm lucky enough to be able to have that on loan to make this video and to also compare it to these other brutes which are available today. So these, this one is weaker, the scent is there, but it's weaker and there's something missing, not quite, uh, there's something in the original which not is not in there, but the scent is there. That one, the same, it smells more like the original, but when you put it on, it's, it's, it's weaker. Um, but as I say, that one, made in Paris, Brut, gold edition, eau de toilette, it's stronger. And this is the one which is more like the original and lasts and smells like the original. Because I've been comparing them as I wore them. And uh, I'm glad I did that. So there we go. So that's the four different Brutes that are available today or three, sorry, that's available today, uh, in Britain anyway. Um, I bought this one online. Uh, I'm not sure if you can buy it anymore. It was part of a package, but uh, it's worth trying to get one if you can. But you're certainly, certainly very, very rare to get a bottle, original bottle of Fabergé Brut with anything in it. Um, unless your family, your grandfather or somebody owned one, but uh, there we go, original brute. So thanks for watching, I hope it was of interest to some people, and uh, I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.